Hey guys, it's me, the Yellow Penguin, and today I'm going to talk about a Windows 10 bug and also showcasing it in this virtual machine. So, if you guys remember back in Windows 98, there was this like thing if you went into like the run dial box and you typed con slash con, it would just give you a blue screen. This is also like it, but it's kind of different. So, here I have this article pulled up and Windows 10 bug crashes your PC when you access the location. Which is supposed to be on 17, so that's a couple days ago, which I'm very late and I'm probably gonna upload, I'm probably not gonna upload this like maybe tomorrow or tomorrow. But yeah, I'm very late to this, but I just thought I'd mention it now. So, a bug in Windows 10 caused the operating system to, to BSOD by, by checking this, this directory. So, here's the directory right here slash slash dot slash global root slash device slash con drv which as i'm gonna say right here here's your con slash con right here drv slash kernel connect so if i'm gonna go ahead and copy this to paste but also huge 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 shout out to fly tech because i did not know this video existed until i watched it so as you can see he pretty much just talks about the error and shows it also so this happens if you if you do it on any directory. So we'll start off with doing it on Microsoft Edge. So if we go and paste this and hit go, as you can see, it's just blue screen. So as you can see right here, you right hand into a problem and it needs to restart, you know. But if you go to the stop code, system service expansion, and what failed is con drv dot sys. So there's your con slash con error. But this one is not like a recoverable thing because unlike the Windows 9, because in the Windows 9X series, what happened is that um, you could try to resume. But this this is the NTFS, so that's not gonna work here. But as you can see, it crashed. Just trying to paste it in as like a Microsoft as an Edge. Alright guys, so I'm back after the first reboot, and it's kind of slow, but yeah, it's kind of expected because I'm on a hard drive. I guess we'll go ahead and do CMD next. So if I go ahead and paste this, I might as well actually pull it back up again, which is always fine. I will put the link to this article and the other stuff in the link description. Yeah, as you can see with CMD, we got another crash. And it's the same thing, it's gonna be like this every single time, so the last one we'll do will be next. Alright guys, so I am back and I think it's gonna be a file explorer. And so I'm just gonna copy it again, mostly just because I can and I just wanna make sure. So if I, I get you for a piss paste now. Ah, okay, so that's nice. I guess you can't trigger it. In this, which because it's it thinks it's on the network, which is not a network thing, but that's very nice. Actually, I'm gonna try one last thing. What happens if I open it? Oh, well, clearly has a blue screen, and it probably won't. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that attention to you guys. And also, I don't. It just Microsoft's trying to crash this soon. Oh, no, nah, I think this is over. But I feel like. It's, it may or may not be patched soon, and also, this is not a 20H2 thing, which is built 2009. This virtual machine is on the older version, Windows 10 20H1, 2004. So it's not just a latest upgrade your Windows 10 kind of thing, but to avoid, just don't tie that in. Like, and I did on my main computer once, just to like, see if it actually was legit, and it actually was legit. And I, I don't know how to prove it more other than I just sit on a virtual machine. I don't want to do it on my actual computer, because I don't have to save file of this. But yeah, just be careful with this bug that Microsoft's... I don't know if I can't... I wouldn't say it's Microsoft's fault, but... But yeah. It's kind of... It's pretty much just like... Making the blue is pretty much like ending the task in task manager, but with a quote unquote more serious error code. 
because this, uh, the one in Task Manager is like Critical Process Dive Challenger right now. It just shows Critical Process Died instead of uh, System Service Expense. Ex expense. Expect. I don't even know. Expend. It's it's not one of those. It's it's just critical process died. So it's like it's like quote unquote less severe. But with that I doubt. Do I think bad? It's mostly just gonna blow up in your computer. Maybe it might lose some files. I know. I don't think it'll lose files. Make sure to save your files if you do try to do this for fun. And eh, probably do on a virtual machine. It's probably a good idea. And this is most likely a Windows 10 thing only. And I would test it on a Windows 8 VM. But I don't, I don't, I don't have Windows 8 virtual machine at the moment, so that's not gonna work. But yeah, I just want to bring that awareness to you guys and showcasing it. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next video.